Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Finishing Blow. Um, this week was not as crazy as I had hoped it would be, and uh, but I got some cool stuff I want to talk about. So let's go from there. I just was hoping more stuff would happen. Um, so first, Relic Hunt. Hopefully you guys saw that. It was a little short that had uh, Ed, Alvin, Brian, and Lucas in it. It's pretty good. I like the action in it. Hopefully you've seen it. It's it's pretty short, short. Uh, I think it's like 12 minutes ish, so it's nothing too terrible. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, along the vibe of, of like Uncharted and other like treasure hunting, uh, relic hunting people. Yeah. So, but uh, there's not really too much to say about it besides it's got a lot of good fights. And uh, the story, yeah, <coughs> it's alright, but I mean, it's a 12 minute video, so you know, nothing too in depth. But uh, I think it sets up for some other like not like a web series but other sequences if they want to which would be cool but uh, check it out give it a watch it's a uh, you can spend your time in a lot worse ways than that so anyways give it a look following that I found this article <laughs> I thought it was so funny because it was about uh, Zing Z finishing her role for the Grandmasters but what's awesome about it is the fact that even in the Chinese um, articles that I found it says finally like in her in the title so it's like even the people in China are like tired of waiting but for three years she's been doing this role and um, obviously everybody's been waiting for the Grandmasters and there's been reshoots and just injuries and it's been forever like Ip Man 1 and 2 with Donnie Yen were created and came out um, there's a bug on my glasses nice um they both came out before this one's even done filming so it's good to know that it's finished um filming it's also kind of worrisome because the movie's supposed to come out in december and they're still filming stuff stop um it's not gonna ever be perfect every movie has its flaws and there's no way that you want to spend like over 10 years on the same movie so just man if you have like a kid in there They've probably aged and hit like being a teenager. Yeah, that'd be bad. So, anyways, I was gonna say hit puberty, but for some reason I that made me uncomfortable. So I didn't, but I did now. So I should have just said it. Teenagerism. Um. Yeah. Anyways, so hopefully there's no child actors in there because they're adults now. But as for the movie itself, I really want to see more footage. Like a lot of people are just going off of the names and the people that are on it. And I just can't get that hyped about it. Like, I've seen the one teaser that's in the rain, and it's just not as good as I think everybody's going to hope it's going to be. And I think that the hype's really going to end up ruining the movie because everybody's going to be waiting for so long to see this film, and it's not going to meet their expectations. So hopefully they release some more teasers or trailers or something. Um, you know, because I think Jackie's even done with Chinese Zodiac, and so they should probably uh, just let the movie go and run it into post-production so that it is a quality film when it does come out in December. So anyways, that's that. But Zhang Ziyi can finally say that she's done with her role, which apparently she posted in her blog is how everybody figured out that she was done with it, which is awesome because blogs are pff, so reliable. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so I actually saw this article earlier in the week but um, I decided I wanted to write about it. I was thinking about whether I should or not because it's not really martial arts related, but it kind of is in a sense. And actually, I've got two things that I got to talk about with the raid. Maybe I'll just knock them out back to back. But the Ninja Turtles movie with Michael Bay. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are actually into the Ninja Turtles or um, are fans of the Ninja Turtles. There's a lot of controversy about this new movie that Michael Bay is doing and I don't want to go too much into it because it's not a martial arts film but the fact that like they're not going to be like mutant turtles they're going to be aliens and stuff has really been rubbing people the wrong way now I don't know if that's going to be true or not it's all like speculation but a lot of people were mad about it but one of the guys I forgot his name but he was like one of the co-creators of the Ninja Turtles like I guess series had, was talking to MTV and they said that they're planning on doing fight scenes with choreography like the raid I think they said like raid style fight sequences which should be exciting but it's really weird to me 
and I get like I'm not worried about whether it's going to be live action or CG because you can do it either way um, but I just feel like it doesn't fit the tone of the Ninja Turtles like if Leonardo has a sword or two um, he's gonna be cutting fools in half and that's really not what the Ninja Turtles is about um, I just don't know I feel like they were saying it because it was an action film and they wanted to get people excited. I just don't think it's the right type of action that you want to use. Um, I just imagine Donatello just three times hitting somebody in the face with a bow staff. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't know. I, I just think that they're saying it just to say it. If they do use that style, it's going to be really weird, I think. Because um, there's different movies with different tones that you want to do. I don't know if that's really what you want to do with the Ninja Turtles, but let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I think it's going to be weird if they do it. Like, I love the raid to death. Can't wait to buy it. I watched it in theaters three times, but I just don't feel like it's the type of action you want to portray in a Ninja Turtles movie. So, anyways, that's that. So, sound off on it. Let me know if you agree or disagree or whatnot. Um, I'm curious to know, because sometimes I think I... Uh, I'm on the same bandwagon as everybody else, and I'm totally not. So, that'd be interesting. So yeah, Ninja Turtles in the raid. That's weird. Real quick, I didn't write about this, but I saw it yesterday night, and I put it on the Facebook page. Sorry. Um, but Joe, um, I think it's Talsum, is how you pronounce his last name, um, played one of the key roles in the raid got a spot on uh, Fast and Furious 6, which I think is awesome. And again, it's not martial arts related, but the fact that the raid has made such an impact that he's gonna be cast, like Iko went to Man of Tai Chi, Joe's going to Fast and Furious. Like, I hope Yayan gets something too, because Mad Dog was insane. But I think it's really cool, and I really wanna support them in what they do. Cause like that movie wasn't that big of a film, you know, they didn't have a big budget. Nobody knew who the cast was, and it's really cool to know that Hollywood is sitting up and taking notice. Whether it's Keanu, or you know the people that are doing Fast and Furious, um, I think it's really cool. Now, do I think that a fight between Joe and Paul Walker is going to be amazing? No. I think that it's going to be edited to bits, and that it's going to be practically unwatchable. But the fact that it's Joe... Um, in the film I think is going to get people interested like what he's capable of doing and I think it's a good step forward anyways but I don't know if it's really going to be good per se now if it's like I don't even know who Joe could fight like I mean Vin Diesel or The Rock even like you either, either of them aren't really fighters I mean The Rock can fight but I just don't know if they'd edit it that way anyways but I thought it was cool so I posted it on there you can check out the link I think it's from like Variety uh but uh, I put the actual link on the Facebook thing. I just threw it up there because, again, I thought it was really cool. So congrats to Joe and Eco as well for uh, their success on the raid. And hopefully, Yayan's got something coming up too because, like I said, he was a beast. Mad Dog is awesome. So anyways, moving on. Um, so I don't even know what day I'm on anymore. But two films were, were announced to come stateside, which were Fatal Move and Flying Swords of Dragon Gate in 3D. And I, I'm not really excited for either one. That sounds terrible. But I wanted to post it because, you know, uh, it is Asian films that are coming to the States. And these people did pay the money to, like, bring them stateside. Now, Fatal Move, I can't remember if I've seen. I don't think I have. Because um, I saw Bad Blood. Or was it Bad Blood? Yeah. And uh, Fatal Contact. But I don't think I saw Fatal Move. Which actually had Samo in it. Um, so... I don't know. I, I might try to grab a hold of it and do a review for it when I can. Now, Flying Swords of Dragon Gate, I did watch. And I think it's cool that it's coming to the States because it was a, a uh, movie that got a lot of income, I guess. I didn't think it was that good of a film. But the fact that it's in 3D, you know, is kind of cool. But, yeah, I don't know. If you guys like it, check it out. Um, I put the release dates on there. I don't remember which one. They were, were they in, like, October? I don't even know. It's way too hot, and I shouldn't have worn a black shirt. That's what I know, but I don't know what the release dates are. Um, and I think I saw that Fatal Move... Um, was, yeah, Fatal Move is getting a different name, but I'm not 100% sure if that's true or not either. I just saw a different cover like after I posted it, and I wasn't sure if that was like the actual Lionsgate cover that they're using. No idea. So anyways, uh, 
if you want you can check my article and see the release dates for those and um, I told you it just <laughs> the week just dwindled down but to make up for it I did a catching up with clandestine article and they've had 13 updates now but they had 12 when I wrote it and like I said I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to cover every single thing that they updated because I mean they've been really good about keeping everybody involved they've had uh, Q&A sessions they've had live Q&A sessions um, I posted a teaser for uh, Brendan as uh, the Eagle Clan member and also um, the meet the cast which had Mark Brendan and Amy in it talking about like how they got into martial arts and thousand pounds and what they do why they're excited about clandestine really cool stuff so you should definitely check it out now I should have looked before I left to see how close they are to their goal as far as I know they're really really close um when I wrote the article they weren't too terribly close and so I wanted to bring attention to them one more time before the uh Kickstarter ended which I think it ends in like a day or two but as far as I know they're actually really close to meeting that goal so if you have donated thank you so much if you haven't uh, please try to even donate a dollar and they'll be able to make that web series it's gonna be awesome I promise so anyways like I said there's a lot of stuff on their web page that I could not cover I didn't want to just you know I don't want to take their stuff away from them I just wanted to get you guys to like uh, check out what they have to offer so give it a check give it a check give it a chance and check it out I can't talk it's hot I wore a black shirt and I'm dehydrated and I don't know what's going on anymore so anyways that's it for that clandestine definitely check it out if you can donate if you can't spread the word so that other people may be able to donate as well Whew. okay is that it lastly did a review for Dragon Tiger Gate which is kind of an older film. I didn't know it came out in 06. Like, it feels like it was more recent than that, but pfft. all right. So, did the review for that. Nothing too terribly awesome in my review. Um, I did have to kick it back a little bit because I had to go to the tag office. I'm finally done with any car related stuff. Like, I got my insurance and all that stuff. I know nobody cares, but I care. Got my actual tag the day before it expires. <laughs> um, so, I'm done. So, I'm hoping. I won't have to worry about all this like insurance stuff anymore like the towing bills and all that funness so <clears throat> I should be able to grab some more articles and write about them for you guys but yeah so with that and having the work I my review came out a little bit later than I had hoped but it was up and it was for Dragon Tiger Gate I want to do a review for uh, the girl from the naked eye which it actually came out on Tuesday and I wanted to review that but I just didn't have time so maybe next week I don't want to promise anything, but I'm really curious about that film. Um, wrote about it a couple times, you guys may or may not remember it, but I've heard very, very different things about it, and so I'm really curious as to what I would think of that film, and I'll try to be as honest as possible in my review um, without just being like mean or anything. But yeah, I'm curious because I've heard both ends of the spectrum, and so I want to know how it is. So I may watch Girl from the Naked Eye for my review on Friday if not um, I'm sure I'll have some amazing excuse so what if I don't I should think of it now a week ahead of time all right but yeah that's it hopefully this next week is gonna be better cuz there wasn't too much to talk about at the end of the week like I'm hoping a lot more stuff gets announced or something cuz uh, it's not fun scrounging for episodes but I've managed to write an article a day so I, I refuse to not even if it's something goofy I'll write it anyways so hopefully you guys had a good week um it's really all I have so I guess I'm gonna go back inside and cool off because it's hot so yeah um thank you guys so much for stopping by this is Kay Miller and this week has been finished